it's Saturday and that means we have another mail unboxing to do. Um, this was just a horse that I had ordered a couple weekends ago that finally came. It is from the Art of the Horse 2012. Um, so that means it's a Peter Stone and not a Briar. So see, Peter Stone box. Um, I did order it secondhand on Facebook Marketplace. So of course it's not directly from Peter Stone, but the horse is made by Peter Stone, which came in a Peter Stone box. So we are going to unbox this horse right now. Um, it is a newer mold for me. So I collect, um, in Peter Stone, I like the Morgans and I like the Arabians and I have some Thoroughbreds and I've got some Andalusians now because of my Art of the Horse that came, what was it, last week or the week before? And then last year there was an Andalusian that I bought, or no, that one might've been the year before. And then there was a quarter horse that I bought. And now this one is one that is a new mold for me, like I just mentioned here a little bit ago. So I am excited to unbox this one for you. All right. So I know some of these horses are very, very hard to get. And I was very fortunate to actually come across this one online. Um, it took a bit to get this horse because I kept seeing them. They were like really expensive and they weren't matte. They were glossy. So I just waited for one that came along at a good price that was glossy, that's in good condition. So that is who I have for you today. And this horse came, of course, in the Peter Stone packing peanuts uh, situation. So lots and lots of packing peanuts, which I am super, super thankful for, but now they're gonna be everywhere, probably all through the weekend. So <laughs> I am just gonna set that aside and hope the box doesn't fall off and explode everywhere. And then the packing peanuts are all over the bubble wrap that the horse is in as well. So, yeah, we have bubble uh, packing peanuts everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. So, we're going to go ahead and open this girl up. She is one of the um, Art of the Horse, like I said, draft molds. So, if you guys are familiar with Art of the Horse from last year, you probably know which one this is. But I'll keep it a surprise till I get her out of this package. <laughs> she is just so well in here. Like, it is taped. It is, she is, it's taped up really well. <laughs> so I'm trying to do this without um, hurting her or totally destroying the bubble wrap to make it look like it's uh, got really torn up. That just made no sense. I'm super sorry about that random comment, but that's what you can expect from me. Random comments, uh, mispronounced horse names, <laughs> excitement about my new horses. Um, and I just love doing these videos, whether they come out, you know, the way I want them to or not. Wow. This is like, look at this. This is like a lot of bubble wrap. <laughs> so we are just trying to get her out, da -da -da, trying to get her out, trying to get her out. Oh my goodness. I will definitely have to triple thank the lady that sent <laughs> her to me. Look at this. This is so much. She's right there. I can't hardly get it out though. She's like trapped in here. She's trapped in her bubble bubble wrap cave or blanket or whatever the heck you want to call it. Okay. All right. I think I think I found an opening. So she should. Well, hang on. We have to release more tape first. Oh my goodness. And I don't know if the bubble wrap is just sticking together really good because of the weather or what, or just the way she packaged her. I don't know, but I am very thankful for all that bubble wrap because she had a nice, safe journey to her new home, which is here, which is here with me and the rest of her Peter Stone herd, which I'm actually thinking like in one of my videos, I'm going to do like a organization and I'm going to organize my Peter Stone models. Um, I have some curio cabinets that I have some briars in. So I'm actually going to take them out and we're going to put Peter Stones in there. And I might take you guys along with me on that journey. So you can see like the um, moving of the briars where they're going to go. And then putting of the Peter Stones. We'll call it putting of the Peter Stones. That's what we're going to call it. Anyways, who I got was Nature's Goddess. She is um, a very cool looking draft horse. She's got bushy tail. She's got Appaloosa spots. One of them is actually a heart. So I was like, oh, that's so cute. And then she's got her white stockings. She's got the cutest looking face. She's got a bushy forelock, a bushy um, mane. So she's just so cute. I am so glad I got her. Oh, and this mold is actually, it's called the bunny mold is what I've been seeing. So 
the bunny mold is a draft horse mold so there's a lot of them out there so this one was very new to me and I thought that with getting a bunny like this would be my first one to really see if I like the mold or not um and I do I happen to love this one so I think I don't know we might collect more bunny molds in the future but yeah there she is da -da -da. Da -da -da. you'll have to get I'll put the close-up photos at the end I might do the close-up video so I'm not trying to really do a lot of close-up videos because I've seen other, another youtuber you do do that and I don't want to take her style because that's not that's not me I don't steal from other people or take from other people what they do but it's kind of neat every once in a while when you get one like this or like the one that I had before um when I could do the video and I could just show you some close-ups of it so yeah I will do that and then of course she came with her swinging tag it says nature's goddess Art of the Horse 2022, and then it's got her Certificate of Authenticity, and she was number 14. So only 30 of them were made, which is why they are a little rare, harder to find, and more expensive, but I just love her, and I cannot wait to show a close-up to you guys of her and her photos at the end. So with that being said, happy Saturday. It is going to be a great day. Can't wait to do whatever today, so... I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, next video will be my Joda, Joda, Jada, the Collector Club Premier Horse Set. Collector Club. <laughs> appreciate, no, no, no. 2023 Collector Club model that came out, the second run. There we go. Getting it right this time. Um, I will have that horse, and I like the way it's kind of spooky looking, and I'm thinking because I like to make those holiday halters. You probably saw them on my Instagram page that making her a Halloween orange one would be amazing. So I might do that like during the video just because like something fun, something different. Why not? So anyways, with that being said, have a fantastic week and happy fall. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, so as promised, here's just going to be a short, quick video of her because I cannot get over how pretty she is. Look at that fluffy forelock, the detail in her eyes, the coloring on her face. Her mane is just so bushy and cute. And there's Appaloosa spots. Oh my goodness. And there's actually, so I noticed a heart right here, right there. And then I noticed a heart on the other side, which I showed you guys earlier in the video. So that's kind of cool. And then look at her bushy tail. And then her stockings and just the way she's standing. She's got the softest, nicest expression. So yeah, she is just wonderful. I love her. So yeah, there you are, uh, photos coming next. Uh -huh.